It's the weekly reset for Destiny 2, so let's go over what's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, like always, when it comes to the weekly reset, we are going to start with the milestones. We have strike challenges, which we need to complete three strike challenges. Today's gift, which we need to complete a dawning gift and deliver it to its lucky recipient. Then we have the nightfall. This week's nightfall is a garden world. And if I'm correct, you only do this nightfall if you have the Curse of Osiris expansion. Modifiers on that are Torrent, which boundless power erupts from within, your abilities recharge much faster, and then we have Time Warp Zero Hour, which the mission timer cannot be extended, choose your battles carefully. Now if I'm correct, this is like the third week that we actually have those very two uh, modifiers on a Nightfall. As for the normal version, we have 21 minutes and 58 seconds to complete it, and for the prestige version, we have 17 minutes and 58 seconds. Then we have Leviathan, which we need to complete the Leviathan Raid, or the Eater of Worlds Raid Lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you need to win Crucible matches. Clan XP, which we earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and World Activities. Flashpoint this week is on IO. If you complete the heroic versions, you can get this done completed a lot faster. Then we have Strikeout to Celebrate, which you need to enter and complete matches in the Mayhem Crucible playlist. And then last but not least, we have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three heroic strikes. Make sure you go ahead and head your way over to Tess Everest at the Eververse, and we are going to see what she has in stock this week. We have the Funky Dance for the Emote. pretty cool. Next we have the can do attitude. As for our wonderful vehicle, we have the Arundite ship. We have the arm coat. As for the ornaments, we have the Particle Accelerator for the Graviton Lance. Looks pretty cool. And then we have the War Beast skin for that wonderful Legend of Acrius. I don't have one of these, so I'm going to buy one. Armor of the Week is the Omega Mechanos Gloves. This is what it looks like on a warlock. Next, we also have the precious metals shell for your ghost. Comes in carbon fiber and uh, gold. It's pretty interesting. And then we have your purple beam effects for your transmat effect. For shaders, we have Vest Poison Shimmer. And this is pretty much what it looks like. Then we have your Hake History Polish. Next, we have your Fire Team Medallion. Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, and then Gleaming Boon of Crucible. Now, real quick, a buddy of mine, Nito, actually predicted this literally last week that since it is going to be the very last week of the dawning, they will be selling the helmets, and what do you know? Helmet for Warlock for 1,200 Bright Dust. More than likely, that's going to be the same cost for all of the other uh, helmets, and we also get the class item as well. And don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get his treasure maps. This week's treasure maps are on IO. So go ahead and buy those. I'm going to go and grab them now. Huh. I thought there was five. Oh. I apparently had one. So yeah. So go ahead and buy those.
And if you guys enjoy this video, then feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.